Handwo is one of the foods that I always looked forward to. And even now, my mom will make extra for me every time she makes Handwo. It's always a good idea to make a double batch of Handwo because it's sharing food. And unlike the traditional stovetop method my grandma used to make, I now bake mine in the oven. Baking it in the oven gives you that perfect, consistent crust that separates a good Handwo from a fantastic Handwo. Start by using some methi, wash and rinse the leaves, pick off the tender leaves and stems, cut the ginger into small pieces to prevent long ginger fibers in your handwo, and some green chilies. And blend them up to make a coarse paste. Just bundle and chop the fresh fenugreek leaves. I'm using a traditional dudhi here, also known as an obo squash or bottle gourd, and I'm going to use a small carrot as well. You can use any vegetables that you have on hand. Anything from carrots to zucchini, to, to onions, to cauliflower, cabbage, really almost anything will work. Grate your vegetables. I like to use the finer side of the grater for the carrot and the bigger side for the duthi, but you could do what you want. This recipe is flexible. I'm using handwo flour. You can make your own or use a store-bought. They both work equally well. Add some salt, some red chili powder, some turmeric, some jaggery or brown sugar, and give that a nice mix. Then add yogurt. some water and start forming a batter. We're looking for a cornbread dough consistency, not too runny and not too dry. Now add the ginger and chili paste. the chopped fenugreek leaves, and the grated opo squash and carrot. Mix well. Add some lemon juice, and the lemon juice here replaces the traditional fermentation that I typically skip. Give that a nice mix. Just before baking, add in some eno. I like to use eno because this is what my mom uses and at this point it is traditional. Brush a little bit of oil on the bottom and the sides of the pan. and sprinkle the bottom with some sesame seeds and some mustard seeds. Transfer all of the batter to the pan and pour in a couple of tablespoons of oil or if you're making it my grandma's way, pour in a whole layer of oil. I typically just do about two tablespoons of oil on top and then I sprinkle with raw untoasted sesame seeds and untoasted mustard seeds. They will toast as the handwo is baking and this will ensure that your mustard seeds don't burn and give that really bitter unpleasant flavor. Now bake at 375 degrees for about an hour.
I'm just going to broil the top for a couple of minutes for that perfectly golden crust. And there you have it, perfect homemade Gujarati handbowl.